Hi everybody, welcome back, Tony Steve Vonder, and welcome to another exciting video. Hope you guys are having a great day, a great Thursday. Today, for you brand owners, we are talking about metaverse domains. Wait, did I mention metaverse decentralized domains? Decentralized domains. What the heck is going on here? Without further ado, let's go take a look at the Attorney Steve litigation whiteboard. All right. So this video is really about protecting your brands. I want you brand owners just to be aware. Everybody's talking about blockchain, cryptocurrency, NFTs, Web 3.0, all these new technologies. Now, my honest opinion is they're here to stay. It's just like, uh, it reminds me a lot, I was working back in the um, dot-com day with a web-based software company. And you know there were so many companies that came out in the dot-com, a lot of them just ended up dot-bomb. It's in fact where I met my wife, Frontline Lisi. But I believe this technology is here to stay why it's an improvement on a lot of things. Payment processing is one of them. But we're also having things where now you can own. You can be, this is what they call Web 3.0. You can be an owner of all this, which ideally is decentralized, which is, if you take a look here, just a bunch of distributed computers that work together to create all these incredible uh, services and products. So I'm just gonna tell you real quick, um, this video is actually about metaverse decentralized domains, but I've had so many people asking me, Attorney Steve, can you help break down the crypto stuff, the NFTs? I'm gonna do another video on some of the products that I like, but for now, let's keep it simple, okay? Ethereum is decentralized okay it's open source it's what they call layer one blockchain ethereum it's selling right now something like uh, 1900 bucks okay 1900 bucks um, so that's really popular there's some criticisms it's maybe a little bit slow or the gas fees as you call them the eth gas fees are a little bit high but i don't think is ethereum's going anywhere at all so on the blockchain, really what it is, I try to tell my clients, it's kind of like the county recorder's office where you go in and record, you sell your house, you go in and record your documents, who owns it, who, who has it, transferred it, notarized, all that. And so the blockchain really just starts creating these little series of, these little series of blocks, block, 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 and these are just transactions. And so that's why they call it the blockchain. And the nice thing about the blockchain, it's really hard to change. So it's uh, immutable, I think, is the word they like to use. Um, and so it just creates a history of, of various things. So on this Ethereum at blockchain, and there's lots of other uh, what we call layer one blockchains, uh, Solano, uh, others, there's others, but say Solano, Cardano, things like that. I'm gonna go into that later. So you have the blockchain and on the blockchain, you can have NFTs. Everybody's talking about NFTs, right? NFTs is like the artists, they're creating things and, and whatnot, selling their photos, their graphics, their avatars, all kinds of things are being sold. OpenSea is one of the sites, if you wanna go check that out, it's one of the early sites that got into this. Um, you can keep your NFTs on what's called a cold wallet. In fact, do I have it right here? This isn't exactly going to keep your NFTs, but this will keep your crypto. Your crypto can be kept in what's called cold storage. Okay, so you have NFTs. So you hear all the talk about NFTs. You can buy and sell these things. Everything is recorded on the blockchain. You see how that works? Okay. Um, you have your cryptocurrency. Okay, also again, built off the blockchain. Okay, the, so Ethereum allows all these different apps to be built and created on the blockchain. And like I said, there's other blockchains that allow uh, games, like Solano's got a lot of stuff, okay? Um, and they've also been having some problems lately, uh, which I'll go into in another day. But So you can buy your ETH or your coins, you know, your Bitcoin. Everybody talks about Bitcoin. It's just a form of cryptocurrency. Bitcoin also has its own blockchain, but you can buy that from companies like uh, Binance. There's a lot of different exchanges, you know, I call it like Target or like Walmart. You can go in and buy your various cryptocurrency, keep it in very various wallets. One that I use is MetaMask. So, um, but your coins, you have, you know, ETH, you have, you know, Algorand, you have all these different coins, okay? So, um, this is all on the here. Now you have the crypto games that's coming up. A lot of people say, oh, it's never going to happen. I, I'm, I'm not going to share with you now, but there's a really cool crypto game I'm, I'm uh, downloading, installing just to check it out. I don't have time to sit around and game. 
but I want to show you guys how it works. And then there's the metaverse. Everybody's talking about metaverse. Remember how Facebook said we're, we're going into the meta, we're going into the meta. So now these metaverses are really kind of like places that you can hang out and do things. Uh, hang out and you know talk you have these characters and maybe your characters are nfts maybe you buy an nft and use it in a in a game over here or an avatar and use it in the metaverse and then you can buy and sell things all on the blockchain you see so that's the kind of the big overview for people that have asked me i've got a lot of questions what is all this stuff going on you're a technology lawyer you figure it out um that's what they tell me so here it is it's like a virtual marketplace okay it's just another it's like if you want to go in the real world go outside your front yard go live your life if you want to go into the virtual world come in shut your doors do what you do and come in here and there's all kinds of things you can do you can do uh learning here you can have online uh, virtual seminars you have Sow the Bees, which is in uh, one of these. We have Decentraland, The Sandbox. Um, Facebook has their meta. They have their, you can buy vi uh, virtual land in there, okay? People say, well, why would you buy virtual land? There's people actually buying land, and it's not even cheap anymore. It's like you go to some of these sites, it's five, ten, uh, you know, $100,000. Somebody uh, bought uh, land over the, the uh, Statue of Liberty. I think it was selling for $3 million. So it's crazy what's going on. But they're saying if you build these out, people are going to go there. You can do your advertising there. You can sell. You can lease out a billboard. There's all kinds of stuff you can do. So that is the basic overview of what I'm going to call the metaverse, Web3. When they say Web3, it means you can be an owner. You can be one of these people um, in this decentralized um, marketplace is what I'd call it. That being said, let's get back to the metaverse domain. So most people know that you have regular domains like, you know, I have attorneysteve.com. That's just a regular domain registered through GoDaddy. Um, if there's any disputes with my domain name, it goes through what's called the ICANN, uh, uh, Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers. It goes through them. They have a UDRP policy, okay? And so I would have to submit to an arbitration and things like that. Um, this is the policy. However, with these decentralized domains, there is, there is none of that. So it's kind of the Wild West. So I want you brand owners to be thinking if you need to get uh, domains to protect your brands. There's usually somebody at every company, especially the big ones, that have to check out and keep an eye on the brand. Here's what we have coming up, as I see now, and I saw these on a website called Unstoppable Domains, .nft, okay? That's not .com, that's not .net, that's not .info, .biz, any of that stuff. It's .nft, so what if somebody comes and gets your brand? Microsoft.nft could be a problem, right? So you may need to monitor these marketplaces. Even on a site like OpenSea, they're selling these, uh, these domains, and then you know they're not cheap. So you wanna keep an eye out to protect your brand. Over here in the coin area, the crypto coins, cryptocurrency, virtual currency, whatever you wanna call it, you have dot coin, you have dot Bitcoin, you have dot crypto, you have dot ETH right now. That's what I see, okay? Down here on the blockchain, you have dot DAO, dot blockchain. So somebody say you're Nike. Somebody could say, well, I'm Nike dot blockchain. Well, it sounds like you're squatting on Nike's brand or, or infringing their trademarks possibly. So these are things as brand owners. I just want to get you familiarized with what's going on because I'm going to be doing more videos because blockchain is integrating as a copyright lawyer. I see issues in here with the NFTs. Now, by the way, uh, also these run on what's called smart contracts. I do a series of videos called Contracts College. Might as well put this in there. Smart contracts, these are contracts that are programmable. It's code and it's, it's seamless. The buyer and the seller, you're gonna sell an NFT. This guy's gonna use it in a crypto game. You do a transaction on the decentralized Ethereum blockchain which is open source layer one, and it's executed on a contract. And so you pay the fee, makes the block, and now you're playing games in the crypto in the crypto metaverse, let's call it, okay? So as a brand owner, be aware, there's lots of things going on. You may wanna keep an eye out on these uh, sites like OpenSea, uh, just patrol, make sure there's nothing using your name out on the internet, things like that. But these are the decentralized domains and again they're decentralized because there is no ICANN like you like you have with your normal domains there is no ICANN 
Um, fun facts, there's uh, almost 300 domain extensions. That's what these are, a domain extension. It's like 300 of these things, uh, different types. So you gotta monitor your brands. If you need help with uh, copyright, trademark, domain disputes, you know where to find us. Um, what else? Um, as a brand, looking out for phishing sites. If you plan to accept coins in the future, maybe you say, you know what? You know, all this is way too early for us. I mean, you know, we, we just take cash and credit cards and Venmo and, you know, that stuff. This is this, this stuff so far out there. I don't even know if it's real. But what if it come, becomes more mature, which I firmly believe this all will, and you decide you want to accept crypto coins one day? You might want to get some of these. Uh, I've seen some crazy pricing on these. I'm just going to wear you uh, from anywhere from $20 on up to $50,000 or 100000 so that's why I say take a look at these. You can check it out on Unstoppable Domains. We'll give you an idea. You can check out OpenSea. But this is for brand owners. Anything else here? Phishing sites, you got to be careful. Somebody uses it for a fake site. Um, this could tarnish and dilute your brand, your trademark, and there could be squatters that you have to deal with. And in some cases, file a trademark lawsuit or a cease and desist letter. So that's it. That's a quick overview. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Not too many attorneys are up to speed on the crypto stuff. Going to be able to talk the language in simple terms, in simple terms. Okay, so that's about it. Hope you guys have a great day. I appreciate you watching, and we'll be back with more great videos. Okay, I got to run. We'll see you soon. This is general legal information only and not legal advice. Bye.